Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, so we wrapped up the little cutie Johnson. Um, 2003 fitting horsepower turned out to be nothing more than a over-engineered thermo statum so uh, got that all squared away runs nice and cool now so um, I've got this short shaft Evan Rude 15 about the same year um, and it had been sitting in a shed for a couple years so it's pretty dirty but I did test run it and it seems to run fine I just need to lube it up clean it up wash it up get it in here and lube things up under the the bonnet and everything um, and the reason why because I've got a fella that wants to purchase it tomorrow. So I'm going to bring it in here, but first I'm going to wash it up, get it all cleaned up with a little purple power, and uh, then I'll bring it in here, let it dry, wipe it all down, lube everything up, give it another test run, make sure it's good to go, and then I'll set that one aside, ready for sale, and then I've got another one. A fella just dropped off one of the older style 15s or 9.9s, uh, Evan Roots. He says has no spucky. So we'll get that one in here and see if we can figure out what's going on. You understand? We'll fix it. We'll find out. So we'll get that in, switch things around, do a little cleaning, do a little scrubbing, and uh, so let's get at that. Okay, here's the little one that just came in. Little short shaft 99. And the owner says he don't believe it has spark. So we'll have to get this hood off of here and figure out what's going on.
QL78 YCs. They look pretty good. The gaps look about right. They don't look all black and filed out, so. Let's put a sparky spider on a spider on it. Let's put the sparky spider to it. See what we get. See what we get. A one and a two. Okay. Now, the fun part. Line up something. Okay. All right, let's look. Let's see if you're in there. So, should be right there if there's anything. I see nothing. I see nothing. So, see if we can trace the kill wire and the kill switch. Come up here, and there's its ground. So let me unhook that ground from the kill switch. Let's see if that does anything. Kill wire, I unhooked it. And here, if we get anything. Oh, looky. Apparently, we got a bad kill switch, a grounded kill switch. Shahahaha. If I can see what's going on with that pup, here it comes. There's some tape right there. Oh, I wonder if it was just. Might have just been touching the block. Let's see. All right. So I unhooked the kill switch. I got a good spark there. Now, this kill wire has been taped up. So, let me put this back on. We might just have corroded kill switch. Okay, now let's see. Kill switch looked like it was touching the block a little bit. Or the, the wire was. I got it off there now. Let's see. Nothing. Okay, let me mess with the kill switch itself. Well. What's going on here? Here comes the other side of the kill wire and there's tape on it. So, uh oh. It's grounding out somewhere, I imagine. Okay, let me show you what I did here. Okay, here is the original kill switch wires that come from the kill switch up forward here. Here's the ground. And here's the other wire. This wire was here. Okay? It was spliced into there. Let me undo this one. Okay, so when I undid the uh, kill switch ground, which is right here, I don't, hopefully you can see it. There's a nut right there. When I undid that nut, here's the ground to, to the kill switch, the original kill switch, which was this one here. It went right there. I undid that and I got spark back because that broke the circuit. This was spliced to here and taped. The ground went right there. So I've now got this, the original kill switch that's on the motor, completely unhooked. Okay. Then I went and got out of my parts bin, trying to get this, this one out of the picture completely so it don't confuse anybody. But it's going to not cooperate. Um, let me try shoving it. There we go. All right, so now I went and got another kill switch, and I tested it on my multimeter for continuity, and it had it. When I pushed it, it lost it. So I put the ground where the original ground was, which is right there, and this is unhooked. Now I'm going to take the second 
wire from the kill switch, the new kill switch, splice it where the old one was. Okay. And that was just taped when I got it. So now we've got a complete wired kill switch, which would mount in the hole up here. Making sure it don't touch anything. Let's see what we get now. Okay, still got the sparky check hooked up. Let me raise her up a little bit. So, now, I'm going to bring this kill switch over to the front. I'll show you that. Still got to make sure you don't touch anything. Okay, it's not touching anything. Okay. Back up just a little. So you can see the whole big, the whole meal deal. But I got to get everything in there. Okay. So here's my Sparky Spider. Here's my new kill switch. Right here. Okay. Here's the old kill switch right over here. So now when I pull it, I have spark. When I push this button, no spark. When I let off the button, spark. So the kill switch was bad. So I'm just going to unscrew that old kill switch. And I'm sure it'll be just needing cleaning up in there somewhere. It's grounded in the under that rubber cap. But quick and easy fix on this one. Let me get that kill switch out and we'll throw in their tank. Be right back. You know, it's a beautiful day out. It's going to be a beautiful evening. I thought to myself, I just feel like taking a drive, so I'm on. I'm gonna go get high. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm gonna go get high. Hmm. You wanna go get high with me? Let's go get high. Let's go. There's St. Paul Harbor. And just more of the bay. There's the top of the sea land crane down there. And out that way is Chiniac Bay and the Pacific Ocean. Here on Pillar Mountain. Here's where we get our internet signals and stuff from. Right over there is the town of Kodiak, but you can't see it from this angle. There's more windmills doing nothing. And we're up further to the north here on Pillar Mountain. And there's the town of Kodiak down below. You can see the bridge. Most of the town. Cannery Row. See a boat coming in. Over that way again is the Coast Guard Base and the airport. There you can see St. Paul Harbor, St. Herman's Harbor, the bridge, and there's the canal going out of town toward Marmot Bay. Out that way is Spruce Cape and Monashka Bay. Coming around over here, and that's a good overall shot from up on Pillar Mountain. My house is right over in there. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, before you hook up this, I took the old kill switch out, but before you route the new one, you got to make sure you put all the pieces in play that you're going to need once that goes back into there. Um, so there will be that. Let's see, do I have one of those? Yes. So, I need to go out and get one of those little red cups. I'll be right back. Okay, let me pull this back out. You need this little red plastic cup. Not critical, but it's supposed to go there on this model. So that'll sit in there nicely. Then this goes inside the hole. 
Then you need this big washer. Then you need the plastic nut. Not all of them are plastic. I prefer the plastic because plastic don't rust. Alright, so that's everything you're going to need. Here's the ground. Put it back in. Push that down there. Okay, let me go get my zipper. My zippers. Okay, there's the ground. And, uh... Now when you're putting, I took the air silencer off so I could get at the kill switch. When you're putting this air silencer back on, make sure your choke retainer is up under there, holding the choke lever onto the choke butterfly lever and then when you're tightening the two screws it even says it has it in writing right here it tells you to push toward the flywheel and then tighten the screws okay because this thing is also kind of like a little ram air thing so make sure you do that you got to do that Make sure that you do that. Now, I still got my Sparky Spider hooked up to this guy. Uh-oh. Drop it a screw. Are they stainless? I think they are. Oh, no. See the little magnet? I got it. I got it for you. It did go to the bilge. My big fat feeners. I screw this thing all down. We'll do one more spark checking now that I've got the kill switch all hooked up. And everything's good. And then, that's all good. It's all good. All right. So, you can see the sparky spider. Now let's look right in here. Well, let's see. I want to get the big picture. We need the big picture in there. Yeah, I got the big picture. Okay. Should be able to see sparks right there. Oh, hoo Now, there's your spark. Now I'm going to push the kill switch right here. You should see no spark. I'm going to let it off. You should see sparks. One kill switch down. Let me get the plugs in. We'll put her in a tank. Its name... That tune I could never, never see. The cosmic sea was like a bumblebee. I could never, never see. The cosmic sea was like a bumblebee. Name that too. See what we get. I got to throttle up a little bit, choke out, bulb squeezed up.
he's still running a little kicker. We ain't done yet. Getting late. Getting late. Time to let that one dry, and then I'll uh, air blow everything inside, lubricate everything, and get that one in the test tank, and have it ready for sale tomorrow. I've already test run it, I know it runs well, pees good, shifts good. Just want to clean it all up and have it ready for the guy. That'll be another video. <laughs> okay. So I need a little assistionis, you understand us. I speak it as Spanish. All right. I want to show you guys my cameras. I've had a couple subs go, I wish you were shooting in 1080p. And uh, I don't even know what that is. But anyway, this is my main outside camera I use. It's a Canon FS200 with a 41X advanced zoom. 2000x digital zoom blah 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 this is what I shoot mostly outside with I keep it in the truck a lot of times in case I come across something all right this it's it's on my GoPro hat I put it on my head see and if I'm trying to catch a fish or something I'll have this on my head it's a GoPro Hero 2 I thought this was 1080p but the problem I'm having with this camera is it has that curvature look to it maybe there's a setting that somebody could tell me about on what to set it to get rid of that to make it normal as far as i know it is a high def camera and all and it, I, I bought the little vo viewer screen for it so i can see what i'm filming and shooting at but it's a gopro hero 2 that's my other one now i'm going to switch out with the canon um, and show you my other one Okay, here's the other one. It's a Sony Handycam DCRSX44. That's the one I'm shooting most of the stuff now in. And uh, it, it seems to let in a little bit better light than the Canon, which is what I'm filming this camera on. So it's a little Sony. And. Uh, so uh, those are the three that I have currently. Cameras. Catching a big fish. Or attempting to catch fish. I release more fish than I ever catch. Not intentionally. That's just how it is. So cameras, let me know what I should be buying. Um, I've been looking at one. I think it's called an M50. I think it... I think it was a Canon, and then there was another one, was a Sony that they said was very similar, but uh, if you know of something I can get that gives good high quality video in 1080p and so forth and would make the videos better, help me out here because I am an idiot when it comes to the photographer, the photography portion of these videos, and that's just how it is. You know, some people are experts in things. When it comes to the camera, I'm not the expert. I don't know nothing about them. I don't even know how to set them up. See, I didn't even turn that one off, and it's been off for. That's how I kill my batteries all the time. So, you got to help me out with that. Well, now, that's going to be a wrap on uh, this one. I got those two squared away, and uh, so I can call the owner on the older one, and I can meet with the fellow tomorrow he'll come over here and i'll test run this later model evan rude uh short shaft for him and hopefully he'll purchase that and and uh so there you go i want to thank you for watching that's one more hack from cody
Now make sure you subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.